Sun Server X4-8 Service Procedures. Replacing a failed DIM. Important, the complete service procedure for this task is available in the service manual. See the link at the end of this video. Overview. To replace a failed DIM, verify the fault, identify the CPU module, CMOD, that contains the DIM, prepare the server for service following ESD and cold service requirements, remove the CMOD, replace the failed DIM, and return the server to operation. To verify the fault, log into Oracle ILOM and check the status of the memory subsystem in the status section of the summary screen. The status column for the memory subsystem shows that service is required. To identify the CMOD that contains the failed DIM, click the link for the Open Problems screen. The Open Problems screen shows you the designation information for the failed component. To prepare the server for service, use Oracle ILOM to power off the server to standby power mode. You can also power off the server using the operating system or the server front panel power button. Before going to the server, use Oracle ILOM to turn on the server's locator indicator. The locator indicator helps you find the server. At the server, turn off the locator indicator, create an ESD safe workspace, and wear an anti-static wrist strap. The CMOD fault indicators on the front of the server show the group location of the CMOD within the server. CMODs are divided into two groups, a left side group and a right side group. Make note of the CMOD location and group. Serviceability. DIMMs are customer replaceable cold service components. For cold service, disconnect the AC power cords from the back of the server. To access the CMOD, remove the four fan modules and the fan frame for the CMOD group. Use the component designation label on the front of the server to identify the CMOD. The designations for all eight CMOD slots are on the label. Remove the CMOD. Remove the CMOD cover. To locate the failed DIM, use the CMOD fault remind circuit. Fault remind circuit is a charged, time-limited circuit. Once power is removed from the server, you have 30 minutes to use the circuit. To use the circuit, press and hold the fault remind button. Verify that the fault remind power indicator lights and look for the dim slot with the lit fault indicator. To remove the dim, simultaneously rotate both dim slot ejector levers outward as far as they will go. To install the replacement dim, ensure that both dim ejector levers are in the fully open position. Align the dim with the empty slot and gently and evenly push the dim into the slot until the levers rise and lock the dim. To prepare the server for operation, Install the CMOD cover. Install the CMOD. Install the fan frame and the four fan modules. Connect the AC power cables to the back of the server. To return to operation, apply full power to the server. When replacing a failed DIM, create an ESD safe workspace, use a wrist strap, and ensure that the server is completely removed from the power source. Use the fault remind circuit within 30 minutes of removing power from the server. Identify and replace the failed DIM. Return the server to operation. For complete service procedures, see the service manual at www.oracle.com slash go to slash x4-8 slash docs.